With me here is the latest addition to MCW, Arcadian. He just finished the group stage. Um, I would say pretty two easy games. How do you describe it? Uh, yeah, we, get the, we weren't put under that much pressure. Uh, we haven't uh, practiced uh, so much uh, this morning because uh, they've been playing EPS for Sunday. So, you know, there's always a chance of our uh, of performance not being at the highest level of it during every match because we may still make some tactical errors at some points but uh, I think it went pretty smoothly uh, on Mirage we had a good lead as a T and then we started losing some close rounds uh, let them a little bit back in the game but then closed the match pretty easily as uh, counter terrorists so it was okay Do you think it was due to Mirage is, is a new map and you haven't had the time to settle on it yet? Yeah of course because uh, and in those X and X situations, you still need lack the experience to know what's the best thing to do. Is it good to idle a bit and then push the same side, or do you need to ro rotate to another side every time the counter terrorists know where you're going? But uh, I, I think uh, I think we play a, a very good mirage actually already because we've been practicing the map a few times online and, and it went it went okay. So. I've asked all the other teams I've interviewed what what they think about the map and what they think about DreamHack adding it to the pool. What do you think about it? Well, I think uh, the map, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit weird, uh, very fast map at some point because the terrorists can go to the bomb site almost as quickly as the counter terrorists, uh, but there's also very far, long distances from the counter terrorists from the A side to the B side for example, so the rotations are pretty boring because there's almost only one way for the counter terrorists to rotate. Uh, I don't know. It's okay, but adding it one week prior to the event was maybe a bit too late. But I think it's okay. It's fun with more maps. I noticed there's, there's been a lot of talks. Who, who's going to be the in-game leader in MCW now? Yeah. I noticed that uh, Ave is still sitting in the middle. How, how is it working out? Who's calling? And I'm calling. Uh, Ave is sitting in the mi middle because he. Uh, I often play the small bomb sites. So in order for him to uh, communicate better on the bigger bomb site, he sits in the middle. So he has an overview of, uh, over uh, Minette and uh, Tracer screens. But it's, uh, you know, uh, Ape comes with a lot of inputs, uh, so does Sonny. So it's, uh, we're, we're uh, pretty good at working together with the tactics, I think. Uh, we are good at uh, making some con constructive debates about what's, what does work and what doesn't work. So, so you're through to round of 16 now. Yeah. You will face your countrymen full gaming, yes. your former team. What is, uh, do you have any certain ex expectation about this match or? Well, I think it's, it might end up getting close because we know each other so well still. Uh, I'm a bit sad that we have to face full gaming already because uh, it's sad for either one of us to leave the team already in the best of 16. Uh, both teams are definitely top 8 at this tournament, I think. So, uh, it's, a, it's a sad matchup. Uh, but I think that we'll end up winning. We should be the better team. We've practiced a bit more, I know. Uh, they've, of course, got some great individual players in the Freeze and the Turkish also sometimes can make some great stuff. Saranga too, but we should team-wise be better. So I hope that we'll come out on top. I think so as well. Now we have to go to the EPS tournament and, and play against Fnatic. Yeah. Best of three match, uh, semi-final. Is it going to be a tough match? Do you, do you think Fnatic is going to have the advantage of you being added to the team recently or what's going to happen in this BO3 match? Well, it's difficult to say. Uh, there, of course, it's going to be a great match, I think. They're a great team, definitely one of the best. Uh, they're difficult to play against. Uh, they have some great individual players like Get Right and Forest, especially on land. Uh, but hopefully we can win. I mean, I, f I think that the material of players we have in MTW are a bit better than we had in full gaming. And if we can win against them and play so close against them in two matches on land, then we're definitely able to beat them on land as well with MTW. So hopefully we'll, we'll end up coming on top and play, play lands in the final. I know you're hungry and you have a tight schedule, so is there any final words before fin finishing this interview? Uh, yeah, I'd just like to thank you know Sennheiser for supporting us and uh, to all of you out there. Uh, going to uh, www.mymtw.com and uh, you can you can always ask some questions, ask something about what uh, what food he like, anything, you know. So, do that. Thanks.